So on Sunday, 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday, only 169 people went. What is the percentage decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? So by seeing this, we know that this is a percentage sum. So we will be using unitary method to solve this sum. Welcome to Mathotropism. So the first step is uh, converting the statement into an equation. For that on Sunday, 845 people went to the zoo. On Monday, 169 people went. What is the percentage decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? So if we are doing by unitary method, we need two variables and four unknowns or knowns. So here we can see that the question they have asked is the percentage decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday. So we know that when we are talking about one set of quantities will be with respect to percentage. So here for a total of 100 percentage, we will be finding the different uh, decrease in the people visiting on Monday and the actual quantity given will be the other set of the variables. So here. Since they have asked the percentage decrease in people visiting the zoo, let the percentage decrease in the people visiting the zoo be x. Next, the number of people who visited on Sunday is 845 and the number of people who visited on Monday is 169. Since we are talking about percentage decrease, we will see how much the number of people decreased on Monday. So the decrease in the number of people who visited on Monday is 845 minus 169 which comes to 676. Now we have the actuals. So with respect to the percentage if we see the total percentage is 100 and the percentage decrease we have assumed it to be x. So we have now got four quantities. So by unitary method the variables will be the number of people who visited on Sunday and the decrease in the number of visitors on Monday. So if 845 people had visited on Sunday the decrease is 676. So if 100 people had visited what is the decrease in percentage which is x. So by unitary method we do cross multiplication so it becomes 845 into x is equal to 676 into 100 so when we keep a x on the left hand side and bring the 845 to the right hand side it goes to division so x is equal to 676 into 100 by 845 so now we'll try to simplify this when we see 676 we, we can see that in the denominator we have only 845 which means the last digit is 5 which means it is a, a number which is divisible by 5 so there is no even number there as a result 676 even if we try to check whether it is divisible by 2 it is not necessary since both common devices only we can use in the top and bottom so what i am going to do is first i am going to check whether 676 is divisible by 3 because that's the next possible number here we can see 6 plus 7 plus 6 is 19 so this is not divisible by 3 because for the divisibility of 3 all the sum of the digits should be divisible by 3 and 19 is not divisible by 3 so we will go with 845 first and check all factors of 845 to see whether one of the factors of that is also a factor of 676 that's the easiest way to cancel out so here when i see 845 when i am going to do prime factorization I, when i divide it by 5 i get 169 and we know 169 is nothing but 13 square so i have done 13 and 13 as the two other factors now when i start with 676 and do the prime factorization i again get a 169 in that also so i can see 169 is a common factor in both so when i take the 169 i can see that for 845 169 into 5 is 845 and 169 into the previous two factors that is 2 and 2 so it means 169 into 4 is 676 so i'm going to cut 676 and 845 both both with the common cofactor of 169 so that comes as 5 and 4 for 676 so now i know 5 is uh, 100 is divisible by 5 so when i cut 5 and 100 i get 20 as my quotient so as a result 4 into 20 is nothing but 80 percentage therefore the percentage decrease in people visiting the zoo on monday is 80 percent thank you